I couldn't help but notice your pain. My pain? It runs deep. Share it with me. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, Game of Thrones mod. We are back as the new, the new, the new Lord of Harrenhal. Little Annies. Little Lord Annies of Harrenhal. So, last time we left off, our mother died right at the end. Um, so yeah, that kind of sucks. She was only, I mean, 55 in Crusader Kings is, you know, a, a full life. <laughs> Um, as everybody knows, play this game, you can die anytime. Uh, it's very rare that you live into the 60s, anyways. Um, so unless you're, like, super healthy. And, uh, we, I think our, uh, Danelle was, no, it's not our mom, our grandmother, I'm sorry. She was, uh, stressed, so I guess that didn't help. Yeah, she died of severe stress. We are going to do a, uh, funeral for her, even though we didn't really have the money. It kind of sucks, because Briar inherited all the money since he was her son and Damon I don't think really got any I don't know maybe he did but it couldn't have been much because I only had like 260 something and Briar has got 200 and some change and he doesn't make any money because those towers are pretty much just ruins they're, they're, they're pointless holdings until uh, the restoration is complete so, left off, we still have the winter fever ravishing the lands, the crown lands. It is actually moved to the island, so Driftmark has it now. Hopefully, Dragonstone doesn't get it, because we don't want our pops to get sick. We are still the heir to uh, Dragonstone. Um, let's look at... Uh, yeah, so we're, we're second in line still, so nothing should change there. Uh, the one thing I sucked because I, I was thinking about, like, I was trying to find ways to divorce him just so he can make more Blackfire, uh, people. Because there's only two left, him and our mother, Kayla, who is, uh, the daughter of his sister, Daenerys. So, that's the only ones alive. And now he ended up getting widowed because they were pretty, uh, you know, they liked each other. They had good, uh, opinions of each other. So, he is widowed. Hopefully that doesn't last long. Uh, a lot of times you can get it taken off within a couple months if the event fires and you get the right thing. Or it might take a couple years. He's 49, so he does have a little bit of time. I don't know how healthy he is. I could check it by going to their console, man, but I'd rather not. I try not to use that for anything. Um, so yeah, hopefully he marries again, has some legitimate black fires. Now that adds some flavor to uh, when Damon takes over. Because if there's actual black fires, they're going to think, oh, well, we have a better claim because we're actually black fires. So, it adds add a little spice to it when we get to the point where we are king. Um, I was going to change my sigil. Now, if you look, I have the thing where you can customize sigils, okay? I was going to go with the, uh, where is it? The, where's the dragon on that? Tell me just real quick so it doesn't take up a lot of time. Uh, it's one with the one in 84 or something. This one, see, I was gonna make this dragon, right? Okay, make it a black dragon, and I wanted to put in half like Lawson's is with the yellow and white. Now, it will not let me quarter or half the uh, the layout in the back, so like I can't make it like you know, half one, half the other, like the Lawson's is, and just instead of a bat, a dragon. It kind of sucks because like there's uh, things like the layout it won't change I don't know if I'm doing something wrong anybody have any uh, you know advice on what to do with that let me know is there a way I can go into the uh, the files and change it that way uh, if you if anybody knows please let me know in a comment I'd greatly appreciate it anyways we need to make put people back on our council our region right now is Simon of lost and he doesn't hate us but I would rather have somebody else. But what can we do? Uh, Blood Raven still our Castellan. We're gonna keep um, Aegon, I think, as our uh, what's his name, Justice here. I don't know if we can find somebody better. He really hasn't been doing anything for us. Uh, there's a couple people that you know are better, but they don't want to come to our court. So I think we're just gonna have to deal with him. Uh, anybody under 18 would be pointless. And not Grey Eminence, because I think he's 17 or 18, uh, Grey Eminence. So, 
There's no point in putting anybody lower than him, at least till he dies or something happens. I can see a lot of people moving to the uh, Lady Paramount's court, just because a lot of times that happens. Uh, when somebody dies, they really didn't care for you, they cared for your predecessor, so it's a good chance a lot of my good people will leave. Um, I do want to find another spy master because that guy is getting relatively old, so... Uh, and he only has one, he has the, uh, he's the Lord of Haraway Town, so he actually does have, like, men and shit, so... I'm gonna keep him happy for the most part. This guy. Oh, wow, he's good. Let's get him in here. Cause this guy's 53, he might die. I might just outright, uh, replace him. Alright, so we're just gonna put Aegon back. We're gonna have him get back to trafficking that claim on Derry. Uh, Master at Arms, I didn't invite a couple people. I started recording, and I wasn't recording for maybe, like, two weeks. So it wasn't that much, nothing really happened but me inviting people. Um, who's the guy? The genius, yeah, we got this genius here. Even though he'd be a good commander, I want to get a good master at arms while we're a kid. Somebody maybe try to train us. Now this guy's got skilled fighter, but he also, what's his combat skill, 100? This guy's 90, but he also has duelist, so I don't know if that helps with the uh, combat role like helping train the children but i'm gonna put him just because he's a genius i'll put him how's his it's only 15.69 that seems like it should be more than that all right for right now we're gonna have that we might move it over to train troops later uh i did bring in another treasure because i do want to try to hurry along this heron hall shit so we got a 20 guy here brune so we're gonna put him there he's gonna oversee the restoration of heron hall Let's put back the regular map. We do need to keep tabs on that winter fever, though. So it doesn't kill our pops. I put back the, the maester that we had. And the septum just stayed the way it was. So, you'll ever see Relb. Everything else is fine. Alright. Now, we have our betrothed that we got last time. Uh, Thoki. <laughs> She's a genius. Greyjoy. Uh, let's see. Can we get an alliance with them? They won't do it right now. I think our dad will give us one, more than likely. I don't see why he wouldn't. Yeah. So we're gonna get one with him. We should be able to get non-aggression with our grandfather. So let's do that. Um, what about Stormlands? Can I still? Yeah, but they won't do it yet. Let's uh, let's let's go ahead and sway, sway him. Oh, I can't do it as a kid. Damn it. Uh. I think his is closer, isn't it? Well, we can't really get money either because we don't have. It doesn't really ain't gonna go up any. Now we are over on holdings. I want to see for a minute if we can keep it for now. If it's gonna give us that much of a penalty, uh, we're gonna have this guy as a bodyguard and this guy. He was the master at arms under our mom, and then we'll have that guy. Then we need commander. Commander-wise, I think he's going to be way better. Yeah. So, I'll put him there. Um, Wild is 67. He's probably going to die relatively soon. Uh, Clayton Caswell is okay right now. Uh, and he's 53. Hopefully, he'll live a little longer. So, we don't have to worry about that right now. Alright, the invitations have been sent to the lords and ladies of the realm to come to the funeral. It is time to prepare the feast and the funeral itself. So, I can see a lot of people not coming to this. <laughs> Best part about preparing a feast is deciding what food stuff to serve. I bet to purchase venison, boar, duck, spices, wine, and ale, honey for desserts, cheeses, perhaps even a swan or a peacock. Well, that's not bad. Lavishly is on 20. I thought it was going to be way more. Alright, so we got alliance with our pop dukes. Uh. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's the guy for the spy master. Oh, shit. I think my court's over now. Ugh. All right, we got to get rid of people. Uh, you are here, and so is he. And he's nothing special. So let's uh, get rid of you. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll get rid of him, too. All right, Um, right. We're down to 35 now. I kind of want to keep it under, though. Ainy's dark. Nothing special about you. Wood Hollow, isn't that's Duskendale? So let's go ahead and ask you to leave. Um, maybe get like two more. I'm trying to think of people that aren't really needed. I keep him around just in case something happens for uh, 
Sword Maple is good. Um, he's another uh, potential replacement if we need it. Jan. Good stewardship. We'll keep him. Uh, he can go. Alright. And then that should be good for now if anybody doesn't stick out. Uh, everybody else seems to be here as either, uh, what are they called? Spouses of somebody I'm using. Derek the Lucky. He's another one that can go. And that's good enough. Alright. Now we can't join any, um, societies right now. We have to wait till we're 16. So then we'll probably join the same one maybe as our mom just to be able to, or our grandmother just to be able to get the fruits of that because she has like the, uh, we have the wildfire um where is it? Meager wildfire stockpile. When I opened the door I saw no one but as I stepped aside to close it, a group of acrobats cartwheeled, somersaulted, and tumbled in. They performed all sorts of tricks, and everyone watching exploded into applause when they finished. Uh, might as well. We need to build up our prestige is garbage because we're a little kid. All the guests have arrived at Heron Hall. It is now time to start the feasting to celebrate the life of Lady Danelle Lawson. Yeah, I only invited, uh, I think it was her lords and our family. So, any people there are him. Uh, our uncle and our dad. <laughs> so there's really not that many people. Alright, Miles of Tower of Dread. Why are you still here? Let's see. You're nobody special. So let's get rid of you two while we're here. The kids should have won too. Alright. Nice. So now we're down under four under. Alright, good. Lord Donald Coldmoat revoked the castle of Weberton from Gowan of Conklin. So Osgrave's still kicking, that's good. He's pretty, it's not bad. He's a little depressed. Why did we lose the bodyguard? I think one of these guys I got rid of was a bodyguard. No big deal. I think we do need bodyguards though at this age. They're all 50 and they're better, so I guess we'll have uh, Caswell. Yeah. They are not really like putting just train fighters there. Clevet of Red Lake Peza Revolt, declare it Peza Revolt, Red Lake. So 355. I don't know why. I put them on powerful and they're they're really not much powerful. Not much more powerful anyway. This is way down here. So is the reach involved in this? No. They're still at that war. Oh yeah, they are. They're still in that war uh with over Harpshire. I could have swore this war already happened. But I guess not it's just taking forever. Alright, Commander Briar spoke up and told everyone how great the food at my feast was. I was really glad someone was kind enough to say something nice about the food, given how hard I worked to ensure that the food was the best part of the feast. Yeah, my whole seven years of uh, experience putting together parties. Alright, uh, as the feast begins, Lord Maribald Vance presented a petition before the court. He says that the crime and banditry in Atrantha is an increasing threat and the local sheriffs cannot contain the problem he petitions that you send men and coin to eradicate the menace plaguing the area all right um yeah i'll send sir merit so i think that's that my master at arms right there's yeah yeah all right yeah might as well keep him happy sir merit organized a group of men to tackle the bandits and rogues in atranta he successfully captured or killed many prominent criminals and publicly hang them as an example to others. The problem is now stamped out, and Lord Maribald is satisfied. Nice. Right, so he gives us an extra plus 15 on him, so that's good. He's getting a little old, too. I hope Lawson doesn't try some crazy shit, because I think he can make... take one of my titles from me. I'm not quite sure. I think because we're a kid, we don't get the penalty... Because it really shouldn't penalize you as a kid because you would get more uh, stewardship by being married because her stewardship will be halved towards yours. So, I don't know. Uh, as the Silent Sisters finished the preparations of the deceased, the body of Lady Donnell is brought to the local sept and laid atop the altar at its center. Canopic jars of ornate design are placed at the feet of the dead, and the eldest child places the death stones upon the closed eyes of the deceased. One by one, those closest to the departed in life make their way into the sept and speak their goodbyes, shed their mournful tears, and pray to the seven for the dead. 
As the day winds down, the last goodbye is said, the body is carried by Kin along crowd-lined streets to the final resting place. As the sun fades away, a great feast is held, and those who knew the dead recount stories of the life and deeds of the lost. And so it is done. Lady Danelle Lawson died of severe stress, 12th, 7th moon, 8-2-39, at age 55. She was a woman, <laughs> and was unyielding in her devotion to her vows, as well as possessing immense strength. Lady Dinell was merely a competent swordsman and not warrior songs are written of. Okay. So yeah. The mad Dinell is finally dead. She wasn't too mad. I mean we didn't get a lot of crazy events for her being a lunatic, which I was highly surprised. Uh Jacarius can still be in prison. Hmm. Oh yeah. We got these other um where are they at? I think they're in Telos or whatever it's called here. There's a couple uh, Targaryens over here. One of them is not a bad commander. Him. All right, good. We'll we'll bring him over just, you know, just to have. I mean, why not? I think he's the son, yeah, of Brendan. I don't know why he went there. I don't think we tried to arrest him or anything. Uh, but they have a king in the Stepstones who is a Ironborn. I guess we'll keep tabs on him. There's some people in my special interest list that really... This is the part I hate about having regencies. I, I hardly ever have them. But when you do, like, they're so boring. Because you can't do anything. Like, if I was to try to go to war, they're going to be like, No! Watch. No, they're all against it. Except for the glory hounds, because they love glory. And I can't even... I can't even do it if I wanted to go against them. Because the regent has all the power right now. Oh, hold on. Who died? The Nera Targaryen, Aaron Brightflame's daughter. Ooh, somebody killed her. Raylanor. Is Kayla pregnant again yet? No. What about our uh, Uncle Briar? She is pregnant. They had a little son, e Euphrates, I guess it's. <laughs> Clement accepted King Aenys the handsome's peace offer. So pretty much now it's just watching what goes on in the realm. Um, we have all Lord Paramounts as special interest. I think I have my lords too, right? No, I probably should have them. Rohani was drowned, sacrificed to the drowned god by King Hagen of the Stepstones. Wow. <laughs> I'm surprised he even has that many men, because he doesn't really have that much under him. He has, uh, the skulls, which is just this, and nothing else. But he did make himself king, so he should be able, de jour wise to de jour these guys. I don't know what he's waiting for. There's a slave raid, though, going on right now, so I guess he can't really do much. At a meeting of your Regency Council, Brendan Targaryen's position on the council is put under question. Your guardian, Maester Manfred, called a vote to have him removed. The vote which passed has been fired. Are you kidding me? No. Well, we're going to have him as our guardian for now. Um, just because, like, he's pretty well-rounded. Where'd he go? There he is. I think we'll have him for right now. Just because we're seven. I'm trying to think, is there anybody else? I really want to try to push him into a martial focus just because he's got, uh. He's got, he's strong. He got willful, so that's good. Idolizer is a negative against martial, though, which sucks. Uh. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> martial wise. I think the genius would be good, too. I mean, he has rude, but he has temperate, brave, which we already have. He doesn't really have any traits. I mean, other than the fighting and shit. But he is a genius. So I guess that would help. Um, but as of right now, like, Brendan has Brave. We already have Just. He has Patient. Um, Patient doesn't give you any martial, though. Which is what sucks. So I guess we'll have the, the genius dude do it for now. He is a knight, right? Yeah. We'll have him as our guardian for now that sucks they moved him off I can't even put him back either we only had this old guy man this really sucks 
This is the thing I hate about damn Regencies. Alright, uh, who else can we get? Do I even have money? Yeah. There's a Sisterton. That's quick. He's a no-name guy, but he's pretty good. I think we might have to take him. What if I switch? No, I don't. I want Brune doing the construction. That's more important than anything right now. So, I think I'm just going to have to pay to get that one guy. Seems like it. Appleton. He's too old. You know what? I'll use him for now. I'll bring anybody that wants to come. There's a Florent with 16 that's 21. Are you airing anything? No. We're going to use him. Alright. I'd like to have like a prominent person as Castellan. Maester Aegon's voted against. Levy shifted noble obligation to do to returning a favor to Lady Cala. Huh. Oh, he got fat. Why was he already fat? Alright, whatever. Voted against. Voted against. So I guess he tried to change the law and they were like, no. That Florent kid is actually a brilliant steward, so that's good. He's young, but... Hold on, is he... He's not ambitious either, so... That'll do. You're gonna be my new Castellan. You're going to oversee the realm. Before somebody else gets you kicked out. Alright, Lord Aenys, after consultation with my council, I've decided to enact the law changing rules of succession to the Iron Throne. Succession hereby determined by agnotic cognatic inheritance with male heirs being preferred to female. Okay, I mean, I thought that was how it was anyways. I guess it was just agnotic at first. So to go Damon, me, or Aenys, and then Briar. So how does that make sense? Because Damon has a daughter. She's actually my heir right now, so he needs to have a, a son so we can get that minus 10 opinion taken off by having a female heir. My lord, news from Highgarden, a trial by combat, Lord Oliver Ball, the man to trial by combat from his captor, Lord Paramount Garland Tyrell, selecting Sir Glendon Flowers as his champion. I think he was a pretty good fighter. Yeah, formidable. Uh, Sir Glendon slayed his opponent. Lord Dickon Ambrose proving Lord Oliver's innocent. Yeah, this if anybody uses this guy, I think he's killed a couple people in trial by combat. That sucks for him. Alright. So yeah, I mean the council's gonna be discontent for another year. Second revolt against the rule of Lord Paramount Gerald, the eloquent <laughs> has ended. Lord Paramount Gerald, the Westerns has won. So this guy, I guess, went against him in tyranny. This war still not over for Harpshire. Another person has been offered up to the Drowned God. Lord Aenys lost, and I hereby invite you to attend the tourney of the Twins, who are the best knights and lords of the Tridents. So we have to go. We definitely ain't losing any prestige right now, because we don't have any really to lose. Are we not getting the negative still? I hope so. No, we're actually getting it now. Shit! So now we're gonna make any fucking money. We're getting an 80% hit to tax money. Now we're over again. Okay, I forgot I invited all them goddamn people. Alright, you're 53. So, I'm just gonna get you out of there. Now we're back down to 35. Cause that costs money just for that. And I'm not trying to pay any money I don't have to pay. You're a commander. You're one of the uh, people I wanted as spy master just in case, but I think I got enough now. 2416, yeah, he's only 14. And I think. Eleanor uh, Tower Dread, go back. Alright, it's his sister, I think. She's not married to anybody, nor is she important. Let's get you out. Are you in there too? Yeah. Yeah, you got gonorrhea. You're gone. Okay. <laughs> All right, and um, him and his wife will go. So that's good. All right. Boom. Now we're back down again to 31. All right. Lord Paramount Garland the Bewitch has usurped the title of Lordship of Harpshire from Lord Ander of Wickenden. So now he has 
Berkshire, which should change back to the Reach. There we go. Torwin Greyjoy has had a composite bow added to his treasury. Are they good as the. Uh, no, they're not as good as the Weirwood one. Is Annie's using Blackfire yet or not? He keeps using the bow. I guess he's trying to channel his inner Blood Raven. I think Blood Raven has a, a Weirwood bow too. He's still widowed. Hopefully he loses that and has some more black bars. The first day of jousting with Lord Walder's tourney is complete, with many lesser riders having already been eliminated from the competition. Now, over the coming days, the remaining men shall compete in the final list, tilting until only one champion remains. I think after this uh, episode, I'm going to go ahead and let it go forward unless, like, something comes up, and then I'll just start recording, I guess. Um, uh, should I get this kid? Hmm. It's Pops' it's intrigue focus. I guess let's make duty. Duty or thrift. I mean, shrewd's really good. Patient, greedy, paranoid are all good uh, intrigue things, so we'll go with that. Alright, Sir Adam and Sir Dick and Rivers went, were next to Joust in the list. So Sir Adam won. It's a bodyguard. This guy's in our court as a bodyguard, yeah. He's a really good fighter. He's already won two, oh no, two third places. Sir Adam's been declared winner of the tourney. He beat another one of our courtiers. He was our mom's, uh, what you call it. Why is the one here, here but she isn't? Oh, uh, she's a bastard. I guess she's with the mom. Yeah, we really need to do something about this other holding now, because I don't want to be losing that money. We really don't make none as it is. It's like, is it worth not giving it away? Because as soon as we come of age, we'd probably be able to keep it. If we probably have one more stewardship, we'd probably be able to hold it. I don't know what the... Let me see something. The base, you get point, 1.0. Lord rank gives you another one, so that's two. Rulership stewardship bonus. Uh, regent, uh, I said the regent stewardship, I think is the problem. Yeah, he only has three. That sucks. Laws plus one civilian. That should give us three. So, why is it that... I don't know, man. Anyways. Lord John of Widow's Watch accepted Lord Paramount Donner the Knight's Peace Offer. So, he's going to kill him and take his... <laughs> take his land. Uh, after much... Hold on, are we in a fight? A war? Oh, we are. High Chief GR's Invasion of the Knight's Watch. He's not even the king beyond the wall. Oh, it broke up. Hold on a second. I thought it was a thin. Or maybe that was in the other playthrough. Could have swore there was a king beyond the wall, but I guess not, because they're way too fractured. Unless dude died. Let me see. Croco. Yeah, it was this one, because he was a thin. I remember that. Alright, yeah, he just died. Somebody killed him. So the whole damn beyond the wall fractured into single lordships and shit. And then this dude, where'd he go? Who's the one? This guy is attacking the wall with his 102 troops. They still have this as primogenitor, which is so dumb. I, w I might go in and change it. I don't know if I can change it myself or not. Do console command. They had no problem with that war. My guardian took me as a squire. Nice. We just turned eight, I guess. All right, yeah. So now we're a squire. We still have that loan to pay of our mom, our grandma. How much is it? 177, Jesus Christ. So I don't know if it's, I think it's worth it just to wait to keep this. Cause maybe our shit goes up and we'll be all right. Um, I thought Rickard would tell the cook it was I who had stolen the cookies and make me give the quill back to the spy master. Ricard surprised me when he instead asked how I managed to steal the quill right under the nose of the spy master and wanted my help to get back at the cook for scolding him. So now we've become good friends with Ricard Ambrose. So he'll probably stay in our court just because we're friends. You want to have some friends? Do we have any others? No. Lord Paramount Donner the Knight revoked the lordship of Long Sister from Sir Ellery Longthorpe. Hmm this one yeah did he take widow's watch 
No. That was the whole point of that war was he was trying to take it. I don't know what happened. There we go. <laughs> Did he take it? Nah. Huh. Word has spread of your success in rebuilding Heron Hall. One of the workers informed me that his ancestors built the original castle and that King Heron's curse was created by mixing blood into the mortar. I will sacrifice my own blood to lift the curse or reduce the effects of the curse. 50% chance you will be maimed. Getting severely injured, 50% chance we're wounded. Your action slows down restoration. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> we will probably... <laughs> huh. I don't know what to do with this one. Nice, we're only wounded. <laughs> so that helped with the curse, I guess. So maybe we won't get any, uh... Let me see, does it say anything? Master Builder store by two, pile of debris. Yeah, so we just got wounded. Hopefully we don't get infected or anything. Oh, we're already done. Nice. We got a cool little scar now. We can get some prestige off of. Walking outside, I come upon some commoners along the road. One of them calls out, saying I look lovely today. <laughs> I see him punished for addressing me like that. So... Peasants get angry, peasants are subdued, we gain haughty. So we have proud arbit I don't want that trait. Uh gets kind until the tenth moon, so we get diplomacy and stewardship. Maybe that stewardship will help. Nope. <laughs> it wasn't enough. <laughs> I think the regent is is screwing me with his uh stewardship. Lord Paramount Donner the Knight revoked the castle or gatehouse tower. He's just taking everything. He can't even hold all this. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's got six holdings under him. I doubt he can have them all without penalty. Let me see. Should usually say. Unless it hasn't been long enough. It takes a little bit of time for it to register. That you're over. For the most part, I mean... <laughs> most people hate him, but... When it comes to the High Lords, there's like... One, two, three, four... Five, six. It looked like more liked him than not. So he has one, two, three, four. Four of them like him, and the rest hate him. Uh, Sony Short completely hates him. Alright. I can see a something going on, some kind of dilemma happening up here. I wonder if he's going to try to take the trident again. He has a truce for another eight years, so that's going to be a while. Your sire, Sir Merritt Birch, has entered the upcoming tourney of High Heart, hosted by Sir Raymond Blaintree. The best knights and lords of the Trident shall be competing, and as his squire, you will accompany and assist Sir Merritt. Hopefully he wins, and he gives us some of the money. After this, we'll, we'll stop. He's won a small tourney. Maester Manfred has been tutoring me with these past few months, and has been a good teacher. I feel like I know him much more. So, gain two intrigue, nice. We're building up stats pretty good for being an eight-year-old with not being quick or a genius. Hopefully, we get authoritative. The reason I would rather authoritative, I mean, I want ambitious, but authoritative will give us an extra 100% in taming a dragon. Now, that one dragon, for some reason, is staying in uh, Old Town. I don't know why. Usually, they fly off and will go somewhere else. So, if we become 16 and nobody's uh, tamed this dragon, we're going to raise some men, march down to there. Hopefully, we'll have dairy by then. I can just get some boats. And then, as long as we're in the same county as the dragon, we can try to tame it. So, that's what we're going to try to do. I don't know if Ambitious gives you taming. No, it doesn't. So, I know Authoritative does. I think he has a Yeah, Authoritative gets you 100%. Brave gives you 100%. Uh, there's another one I'm not thinking of right now, I think. I don't know if Knight does. I don't think Knight does. No. But then we have the two... Uh, we have the two Blackfire Bloodlines that'll give us an extra 250 each. That's an extra 500. So, hopefully, we have a good chance at uh, taming the dragon. Sir Merritt has been declared the winner. Good. Sir Merritt won again. Auto saving. Sir Merritt's been declared the winner. Good. Ah, oh, that must be the one leading up to the final. Sir Merritt's declared the winner. Attorney, nice. So we picked a good guardian. 
Uh, he truly deserves it. So let's see if he gives us some of the winning. He probably won't. Alright, after much food, black beer, jousting, and combat, Sir Raymond Blaintree's turn is finally over. I don't know why I didn't get that thing saying, uh, if he tries to give us some money or not. I guess he didn't give us any. <laughs> Usually I'll say if they do or not. Um, Sign Guardian. He's our friend. So we're going to have him with the same Guardian as we have, just to get the same training since he's our buddy. Alright, uh, we'll go ahead and stop here. Uh, next time we take all, hopefully... I'm hoping my damn regent dies or something so I can get a different one that has better stewardship. I can't change him, so I'm kind of stuck with him. So I might go ahead a little bit. If stuff happens, I'll just start uh, recording right there as soon as like an event pops or whatever. Or if we get the claim on Derry, hopefully they'll okay the war. Um, so until then, who did she betray to? A great joy. That's funny. Is that? No. Nah. Hold on. Why would he let his firstborn son become matrilineally married to her? Or betrothed? That's stupid. Alright, until next time, thumbs up, subscribe. See you in the next one.